Hallelujah, hallelujah. Beloved, this is another mind-blowing sermon which I would like to share with you wherever you are hearing my voice and trust you in me. After this very message, the Spirit of God is going to locate you and uplift your life in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Beloved, we need to train ourselves very well for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Before Jesus Christ would depart from his disciples, he gave them a particular assignment to accomplish. Jesus Christ finally spoke with his disciples in the book of Matthew chapter 10, verse 8 coming. I want to read, and after this scripture, I would like to expatiate things correctly. And the power of God is going to bless your life in Jesus' mighty name. The book of Matthew chapter 10, verse 8. What does the word of God say? It is written, Heal those who are ill, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons. Freely you have received, freely give. Now, let me take you to the verse 28. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Hallelujah. This was the commandment Jesus Christ gave to his disciples and the apostles as well. If you could imagine the persecutions that the apostles and some of the prophets went through in the Bible, it was extremely catastrophic. It was extremely terrible. Yes, um, I believe you, are, you have heard something about Stephen. Stephen was stoned to death. Stephen, he was stoned to death. And as they were stoning him, the heavens got opened and Stephen's spirit ascended into an eternal glory. Hallelujah. Yes. Peter also was crucified, inverted. He was crucified like they did to Jesus. But Peter was crucified seriously. Paul was also stabbed. He was stabbed to death. He was stabbed. Beloved, as a minister of God, you have to bear in mind that you will meet a lot of troubles in your ministry. Ministry is not a joke. Ministry is full of horrible things, demonic attack, high spiritual attacks, police arrest because evil spirit will enter into the police for them to arrest you and harass your life. So you don't have to joke with ministry. Yes, because the moment you start ministry, you are to win souls for Christ. You are to win souls from the dark realms into the kingdom of light. You, you are to win souls, I repeat, from the dark realms into the kingdom of light. That is Jesus Christ. So, Satan will not joke with you. He will chastise your life. He, he, he will attack you seriously. Because he has several ways that he can use to, you know, attack your life. So, as a genuine minister of Jesus Christ, this is how you have to train yourself. Me, for instance, I have, I, I have encountered a lot of difficulties, a lot of troubles, because in my ministry, the Spirit of God sent me to villages, many places to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. There are some places when you go there to preach, they, they, they will attack you with guns and cutlass. They, 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 they have been attacking me so many times, so many times. They, 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 sometimes they pass through the policemen to arrest me while I am preaching. I have encountered a lot of difficulties in my ministerial life. 
The same thing applies to you. Maybe you have been experiencing the same thing. But this is how you, you, you can train yourself. You have to encourage yourself and believe that there is the greatest reward which is ahead of you. There is the greatest reward which is waiting for you one day. Yes, one day God is going to reward you. Don't become depressed. Don't become discouraged. Encourage yourself. Sometimes you, 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 can be, you can be very, very hungry. And there will be no money there for you. But you have to encourage yourself. As a minister of God, you can, you can be broke. You can be broke. You, you cry, you pray all night, all day long. But there will be no solution. This is how the Spirit of God strengthens you as a minister of God. So you don't have to be discouraged. But you have to fortify yourself. The more you fortify yourself, the more the troubles become larger and larger. But don't resign. Keep on doing it. One day, God will open up your life. He, he will give you the blessings that you deserve. Yes, he will give you the blessings that... Me, for instance, I have encountered accidents, several motor accidents. I have encountered a lot of things in my ministerial life. But I am still following Jesus Christ because I believe one day there will be a greatest compensation from divinity. Yes, I pray for you wherever you are hearing my voice. As a prophet, as a pastor, wherever you are hearing my voice, may the power of God strengthen your faith in Christ. May the Spirit of God give you everlasting spirit everlasting spirit so that you can take your stand against every schemes of the devil and you can win souls for Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ beloved as you can see when Paul was Saul he was persecuting the life of the um, the disciples of Jesus Christ and the church. He was, he was terminating the churches, yes. But one day, he had an encounter. So had an encounter, an encounter with Jesus Christ on the road to Damascus to destroy some churches there. He had an encounter with Jesus and he was crushed down. And his name was changed from Saul to Paul. Yes, and he did a lot of works for Jesus Christ, yes, because of what he was doing to the church. God used Paul strongly. He was used by God powerfully, yes. As you can see, Paul was very educated. He was lit literate. So, Paul was writing to several churches, teaching them how they can train themselves in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Let us look at the book of, um, book of Second Timothy. Let us look at the book of let me let me finish with First Timothy chapter 1, verse 18. It is written, Timothy, my son, I am giving you this commandment in keeping with the prophecies once made about you, so that by recalling them you may fight the battle well, holding on to faith and good conscience which some have rejected and so have suffered shipwreck with regard to the faith. Among them are Herminius and Alexander, whom I have handed over to Satan to be taught not to blaspheme. Yes, so Paul instructed his son Timothy to work on his prophecies, train 
himself very well in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, Timothy is no more. Replace Timothy's name with your name. Whatever you are hearing my voice, you have to train yourself very well. You have to be very prayerful. Strengthens your, you, you, yourself. Strengthens, tightens your jadal. Tightens to be prayerful. Yes. Involve yourself in fasting. Live in a holistic life and live righteously according to the will of God. Because I have taught you that a righteous person is someone who obeys the voice of God. That is a righteous person. Yes, who obeys the voice of God. So righteousness in Jesus Christ simply means obedience in Jesus Christ. I bless you in Jesus' mighty name. I believe henceforth you will train yourself very well for the gospel so that together we can win souls and many, many souls for Jesus Christ. Because one day, our blessings will come back to us in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for you in Jesus' mighty name. Wherever you are hearing my voice, I command you to be blessed. In the name of Jesus, receive your blessings. Receive your breakthrough in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Shalom. Beloved, I am the founder and general overseer of Power Explosion Anointed Chapel, which is located at Nkariye Kuma in the Ashanti region of Ghana. Yes, Power Explosion Anointed Chapel is also known as the Good Spirit Church. The Good Spirit Church. You can come and worship with us. You are, you, you are invited to Power Explosion Anointed Chapel. You can take our contact line. 0556622520. If you want to support the work of God, you can contact me. God richly bless you for always being with me. Hallelujah. Shalom. Peace. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. <laughs>